There's the beehive, and there's the queen bee. And now the bees are collecting nectar. Great. That sounds going to get annoying. All right, let's see what we got to do next. Place a chicken coop and use two chicks. All right, well, we got to find two chicks, and apparently we find them in bird nests. What's up, everyone? Glock9 here, and welcome back to New Frontier. It is the morning of day eight. I've got four skill points to spend. Let's put two into brains, and let's put two into scrap spitter, inventor, because I've got a feeling the scrap spitter is going to come in handy in this series. All right, let's skedaddle. We're going to go get this treasure chest that's buried up here. I made some lock picks last night so we can get into it. We don't have a job on the map for wrecked yet, though, so let's stop over there first and take one. Hold up. We got some free meat walking around over here. Look at that. I'm a professional meat murderer. This is why I don't grow vegetables. Why would I grow stupid vegetables when there's just free meat walking around? That's all I need. Meat is the most nutrient-dense food there is. So I'm just going to eat meat. I'm on the carnivore diet, baby. Grilled meat, that's all I need. I should cook it on the stove, though, because then it could be seven days to pan fry. Here's another nest. Can we get a chick? No. Man, just fucking out here looking for baby chicks. I'm like R. Kelly. I don't see nothing wrong. What's up, you old motherfucker? Yeah, what do you want? I just want a job. Uh, He's got infested jobs. That's cool. But I want to do a tier two. Uh, so let's do this clear zombies. That's to the west. You don't Barbershop. Okay, I'll do a barber shop. Oh, just gave her a fucking haircut. Maybe I can get a job at this barber shop. Oh, I should have got a testimonial from her. Hey, there's a baby chick. One down. And there's another one. Bam! Got the two chicks we need. Now all we need is that stupid dad t-shirt with the picture of a baby chick on it that says chick magnet. I'm kidding. You ain't gonna catch this dad wearing that dumb shirt. My shirt has a picture of a chicken on it and a wedding band, and it says cock ring. Let's make a quick pit stop at this bookstore, which is uh, part of a larger POI, but I don't care. We're just gonna go straight for the books. Vehicle book. I definitely want to explore the different vehicles in this mod. Especially the hot air balloon. That's right. There is a hot air balloon in this mod, which uh, is kind of crazy. I'm sure that replaces the gyrocopter. But for now, the horse is uh, doing all right. Considering we live so close to this town, and this is kind of the town we're working on right now. Once we want to expand out, though, move a little bit further, explore the map further, we're definitely going to want something with more storage space. Machine Gunner book. Uh, fully automatic mode does 1% more damage per hit until you miss. And a bow crafting. Oh, we can make a level 2 warrior bow now. Should probably look into that because I'm sure that's way better than our level 3 primitive bow that we're using. Oh, we got some crawlers here. And uh, another zombie coming through there. Rifle ammo. Let's pop this crate open and then we'll get back to doing whatever it was we were doing. What were we doing? Uh, the treasure, that's right. <laughs> we gotta go get that treasure. And then we got a job to do for Trader Wrecked over at the barber shop. Silver and gold, ammo, and shotgun parts. Can't ask for much more than that. All right, let's get this job for wrecked on the HUD. Because we're going to go do that now. And then we've got a couple of safes that are marked on the map. Two of them right here. We can grab those on our way back to Rex. Since uh, I only broke one lockpick there, so we got nine left. Might as well put those to work. 
Here we are. Uh, I can't read that because the glare. Butts and cuts. Barbershop and bathhouse. What's, why the butts? Because it's a bathhouse? So I guess you wash your butt and you get your cut? <laughs> That's so fucking stupid that I love it. He's dead. Here's Johnny, bitch. Except I don't have an axe. I got a gun. Look at these fancy chairs. God, how many nickel haircuts you gotta give to afford these things? They must be uh, doing some extra services over at the bathhouse, you know? I thought I'd be getting brass from these, but I'm not. Mechanical parts, leather, and iron. I'll take it. Down she goes. Here, let me slit you where the good lord split you. That's all she can handle. Got a few crates in here. Oh, a hidden stash. Nice. I mean, it wasn't very hidden, but... Okay. Lucky looter book. Find more coins and loot. And I'll scrap the iron crossbow for the bow part. Now the knife guy book. Oh, machete quality one. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Let's drop some stuff off in motherfucker before we go upstairs. Gotta be careful. I don't want to get too far away. There we go. Seems like a bad idea to put the bathhouse upstairs, right? I mean, I would think you'd want to put the big tubs full of water on the first floor. Oh, there you go, buddy. Just save just some money. With no head, you don't need a shave or a haircut. Close that. Let's put another shell in here. Oh, shit. Oh, gotta be faster than that, lady. Ah, sorry, ladies. Bathhouse is closed for business right now, so you're gonna have to go wash your asshole somewhere else. Rifle book. We'll sell the sledgehammer part. Take the rifle part. Let's close that, because I think we got some more zombies outside trying to get in. Take all that stuff. A little bit of monies. Nothing there. Uh, we can pick this up. Might as well. What were you two doing in the private room, huh? A little bit of the old in and out. A little bam bam in the ham. Oh shit. There was a party in there. And we are clear. That wasn't too bad. Handgun buck. Oh, we just unlocked the raven. I'll check that out later. Nothing there. Another handgun buck. Some good loot here. Man, we had like four secret stashes downstairs, a weapon bag, plus all this loot. Not bad at all. Scrap spitter book. Scrap spitters do 10% more damage. That's beautiful. Here's one of the safes we left behind in the guns and ammo store. Grab this real quick. Uh-oh. That sounded like a demolisher. Oh, shit! Why am I getting radiated? Oh. Oh, my God. What a... All right. I'm gonna take motherfucker down the road. I'm assuming whatever that is is what was causing uh, the radiation. We gotta try and kill it. We'll just keep our distance. Well, six rounds out of this wasn't enough. Let's uh, go a little bit further down the road. Let's try that again. Dropped him. Holy shit. 
No, nope, get on, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Oh, you missed, you big tall bitch. Oh, my God. Tell me these things will eventually show up in the horde. That's not going to be good. Mm. All right, he's down. I'm going to use a shotgun. That didn't work. Oh, nice. Damn. That dude was hard to kill. Dropped a nice loot bag, though. Shit. Man, these guys in the horde, that's gonna be a problem. Already we gotta worry about them damn feral chickens that might get through, like, one block openings. We gotta be careful about them. And now we gotta... Build some sort of base that keeps us far enough away from the zombies so we don't get radiation from that thing. Anyway, let's get back to this safe here and then we'll go get the other one we left behind. That, uh, that was in the, um, oh, close that. Upgrade that. All right. Uh, the other gun safe is in, uh... That weigh, weighing station POI we did. We'll go grab that next. Now that you did the job, 25 steel, crafting skill magazine bundle, a kosh, which I guess is like a bat. We're going to go with the magazine bundle. Um... Let's do another clear zombies. Like you. We'll try one of these infested uh, soon. Because I am curious how the infested jobs are in this mod. Uh, but for now, let's go do another tier 2 POI. And that'll probably be it for today. Sweeney Salon and Lovett's Pie Den. They gotta be connected, because the job name said Sweeney and Lovett's. Slow down, lady. Did you not see me just blow that guy's head off? Bitch. More fancy chairs. And barbershop. Salon. It's just a uh, beauty day, I guess. Did a bathhouse, too. It's funny. We got our hair dead. We got all cleaned up. It's like we're going to a ball tonight. Except we're not. We're just gonna be, uh... At the old slip it in tonight, where we are every night. Handgun books. Raven quality too. We'll check that thing out when we get home. Herbal antibiotic. That door's locked. What is this? Another door which is also locked. Oh, well, they're not locked anymore. Really? That's what you want me to do? Jump down there when I won't have a way up? Oh, you son of a bitch. What if, uh, we break into Lovett's place? Hold on. Anything up here? Trash and boxes. All right. Uh, let's take a quick look over here. Any crates or anything? No? Just a bunch of trash and shit. Is this open? No, that's locked. There's Big Mama sleeping inside. All right, fuck it. Want me to drop down into the Pulp Fiction basement and huh? become the next gimp? Fine, I'll do it. You think I'm scared? I'm not scared. I'm doing it. Zombies! Oh, that wasn't so bad. Actually, kind of nice. We do that to ourselves often, don't we? Get all worked up over the unknown. Worry constantly about shit that hasn't even happened yet. And then whatever it is we're worrying about never turns out to be as bad as we thought it would be. And even if it is, you deal with it then. Better than giving yourself agita for two weeks leading up to whatever the fuck you're worried about. 
Oh, it goes deeper. Unlike me. I can only go so deep, honey. That's what I tell my wife all the time. She doesn't listen, though. Murky water. Cellar doors. That must be the way out. Yep. Good on that. Uh, scrap, scrap, take. Take. All right, let's go see what's down here. Some loot? Yeah, and that looks like it. All right. Well, we're not done yet. I mean, we still haven't even checked out uh, Lovett's Pie Den. I'm assuming that's where the uh, cellar doors lead to. Another handgun book, Night Stalker. Uh, we could sneak better at night. I did see that uh, Wrecked had some night jobs. We'll do one. Not tonight. I'm going to get some work done back at home tonight. I want to craft a second forge. Uh, I want to craft a cement mixer. I realized that we opened that up. I must have missed it. Been reading the shit out of Forge the Head books. Uh, so, uh, that's something we can get crafted tonight. Still have not opened up the chem station yet, though, so... I uh, still gotta get that done. And then, uh, you know, maxing out Forged Ahead opens up the, uh, Crucible, but fucking Wrecked has one, if we can just get up enough money. Even though Steel is, uh, the last of my worries right now. It'll be good to get the cement mixer, though, and get a bunch of concrete... Mix moving. And then uh, we also need to find a base to start working on. Another knife guy book. And uh, job's done. Let's just see what we got in here. And we'll head back to Rex. Uh, there is a POI that I wanted to, uh, been wanting to check out. And that is the Gold Rush POI that is right across the street from Rex. So, I think we're going to have to check that out before we go get our final reward. Find 10% more dukes and cash in safes, cash registers, and ATMs. Put this on here and that'll sell for more. This is the place, Gold Rush. Looks like a small little place, but we know, especially for those who, who watch the Get Wrecked series, that small little places can be very deceiving. Let's see what we got here. Ah, well, it's only a tier two, so it can't be that bad. Oh, well, that sounds like a lot. Nice. Oh, two got through. That was easy. All right, no sweat. Oh, look at this. Handgun book, knife guy book. Hey, you got your own little cell in here. That's nice for, uh, whoops. For a little defense, you know, you just need to make a, a second way out of here. So you're not just, like, closed in there. I would just knock a hole in the roof, so you could bail that way if you need to. That's kind of cool. Not much room in here for all your stuff, but there's enough room for storage and a workbench and whatever. Eh, I don't know. I was thinking, uh, when I drove past this place numerous times, I was like, man, considering it's called Gold Rush, I figured probably some sort of mine underground, and, uh, could be a cool place to live, especially since it's right across the street from Rex's house, but we live so close to here, it wouldn't make sense to pick up all of our shit just to move here. When we move, it's gonna be to a whole new town. Dog. Might be a dog around, we gotta be careful. Some ammo. I don't see one. Forge the head book, that's good. Just some trash up on the rooftop. Oh shit. Gotcha. 
Oh, this has got to lead down to the gold mine. I thought there would be something like this here. Got a soldier. Couple soldiers. He dead. Oh. There's a few down there. You know what? Let's uh, make use of this little cell. Close that. Uh, let's get this out of the way. Oh, those bars are about to be destroyed. Oh, shit. So is the bottom one. Do I need forged iron to repair that? Or can I do it with, with uh, regular iron? Oh, there you go. Oh, we were about to just get fucked by three soldiers and a hazmat dude. Luckily, <laughs> I didn't need forged iron to repair that bar. Otherwise, it would have been a scramble. Okay, not so bad. See what we got down here. Some loots. Another knife guy book and find more food and loot. Uh, I guess we're going crafting magazine again. Yeah, I don't need to know how to purify water. All right, now that we're done doing this. Yeah, like I said, um, I don't want to do a restored power tonight, but I definitely want to do one. We'll do one tomorrow night. Let's take one of these infested jobs, though, and we'll do that in the morning. Come to think of it, I do. It's a deal. Got some honey, but I got no room. Now, let's eat these eggs. Get them out of here. All right, got a little bit of honey out of there. 1% cure infection. No, that's not great, but whatever. I guess if you craft enough of those, that'll help out. More handgun bucks. Ooh, Raven Quality 3. Let's take a look at that Raven. Nice. I need steel to craft that. I wish it would tell me. Oh, it does tell me. That's a 44. Dude. Definitely want one of those soon. Here we go. The chicks are now in their growth stage. So we'll just wait for them to grow up. And then we'll murder them. We got zombies. Okay, cop is dead, and did Kenny just spawn in? They're not all spawning in on me now, are they? Fucking freezing out here. We good? No, we're not. Hey, get away from that chicken coop, Mo. If anyone's gonna kill these chicks, it's gonna be me. Oh, you <laughs> just bitch slapped me. All right, I'm going inside. Fuck this. Too damn cold. Anyway. All right. Let me go through our inventory and stuff. Get all this shit put away and sorted. Figure out if there's anything we want to sell. And uh, I want to get a second forge crafted tonight. And I also want to get... The cement mixer crafted. And, uh, uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, not gonna craft this revolver yet, even though I would like one. I don't have enough steel anyway. And then I'm gonna do a little more work down in the mine. I haven't hit any ore down there yet, just stone, but that's fine. That's, uh, all we're gonna need for the mixer. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. And if you wanna support the channel further, you don't have to, but if you want to, the link to my Patreon is down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.